play The Discovery Club, bound to learn all day The Discovery Club, adventures on the way The Discovery Club, come join us, hooray! The Discovery Club Have you ever looked up at the sky and wondered, hey, what are clouds made of? Are they fluffy pillows? Or maybe giant marshmallows floating in the sky? Well, not quite. Let's float up together and find out what clouds really are. Clouds may look soft and squishy, but they're actually made of tiny drops of water. Yup, super tiny water droplets or tiny pieces of ice. They're so small and light, they just float around in the sky. Imagine millions of little water drops hold in hands. Poof, that's a cloud. Here's how it all begins. The sun shines down and warms up water in oceans, lakes, and puddles. That water turns into invisible gas called water vapor. This part it called evaporation. The vapor rises up, up, and up into the sky like tiny invisible balloons. But the higher the vapor goes, the cooler it gets. When it cools down, it changes back into tiny drops of water. That's called condensation. These tiny drops bunch up, like bubbles in a bubble bath. And before you know it, a cloud is born. Not all clouds look the same. Some are puffy and white. Those are called cumulus clouds. They usually mean nice weather and love floating around on sunny days. Some are thin and wispy. Those are cirrus clouds. They fly way up high and can tell us that weather might change soon. And then there are dark, heavy clouds called nimbostratus. They carry rain and like to pour. Each cloud has its own special job in the sky. Pretty cool, right? Wait a minute. If clouds are made of water, why don't they just fall? Great question, because the water drops are super tiny and light, and the warm air below helps push them up. They float in the sky. It's like riding an invisible air elevator. Clouds don't always stay light and fluffy. Inside, more and more water drops keep joining in. After a while, the cloud gets too full, like a sponge that's soaked with water. And guess what happens next? The drops start falling down as rain. Sometimes it's not just rain. It could be snow or hail, depending on how cold it is. That's how we get puddles, snowflakes, and splishy, splashy fun. So now we know. Clouds are made of tiny water drops that float in the sky. They form when warm water goes up, cools down, and turns into clouds. And when clouds get too full, they rain. Isn't that amazing? Curious about more amazing things in nature? Then hit subscribe button and keep discovering with us at the Discovery Club.